Hey, ooh you heads. Daddy Longdick's back in town. Today, I'm appeasing nobody by making outdated content for a French community. So, uh, let me know in the comments how this recommendation has ruined your day. Uh, so, we're going to survive 1,000 days in Chinese Limbus Company in Minecraft. And uh, I can't do this fucking voice anymore. I started by creating a world with cheats enabled. Because when your manager offers to up your paycheck in exchange for your innocence, you accept the offer, face the prolapse, and treat yourself to something nice. Nice things are rare. For example, I created a custom Dante skin solely for the sake of this video. Uh, you see, this is the wrong Dante. And, uh, that's funny. I spawned into a beautiful world of wonders, so perfect it almost scared me. However, when a Don Quixote jump scare actually made me jump, I decided, regretfully, to take my schizo pills and return the world to normal. Much how I expect her canto to turn out, perhaps with an innocent sponsorship from BetterHelp. Noticing I had an extraction ticket handy, I perused my oriental looking options. I could easily identify Ryoshu among the horde of undecipherable letters, because her name is written in fancy Chinese characters, while the rest are written in the language of the smelly, delusional Buddhists. Because I'm not stupid and an enlightened Taoist thinker, naturally I went with the Chinese. Performing a gay little courting dance, I then commanded my Ryoshu to slaughter several sentient bags of calories. It reminded me not of the obvious similarities to a chicken-adjacent event, but of a shitty game coming out, capturing a frankly unbelievable audience because in the light of its news, even shit seems like the nectar of the gods, and losing 99% of its player base in a single quarter. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird tangent to go on. I mined some wood, and upon encountering this, uh, this, uh, this drone, I tried to get Ryoshu to kill it. But she really did not seem to comprehend that one. So after killing it myself, I celebrated by giving her some blue, and then I fucked off. Now for today's sponsor, me. Shout out to this uh, one guy complaining about me begging for interaction. Just for you, I held off for two minutes. Uh, you know damn well I was edging the whole time. Anyway, I'm physically incapable of working on this channel consistently. I have no space and my Lenovo ThinkPad is genuinely incapable of processing more than a few shoddy effects in Premiere. Uh, so you can imagine... So you can imagine making this is torture. If you would spare a coin for a sad little orphan, I have memberships, I think. If you can't do that, just uh, like and subscribe so I can farm impressions. I do it for the money. On day 16, we triumphed in victory over a herd of strange foes with horns like devils, taking on the role of a brave and chivalrous cattle gun, ready to thin the bovid population of New York like a vaccine. Taking a stroll through the greatest city in the world, I purchased some fashionable trousers for a reasonable price, only to realize they have been laced with skin-absorbing psychedelics. I woke up in Skyrim, and then woke up again in front of a house, which I stole instead of complaining about housing prices like some sort of liberal. Uh, digging an anti-homeless ditch to pay homage to real-life New York, I began systematically lowering the neighborhood's property value. Uh, you could call this my own type of project. I stole some iron, burned the fent pants, and readied myself to deal with the local police force, defunding them for their unsavory profiling of zombies, a justice rotten to the core. To accomplish this, I dug up a trench of sorts, slowly but surely chipping away at the gollum silicon flesh with my pickaxe, allowing him to forever dream of the electric sheep he yearned for. In other words, I killed him. Uh, seeing this, his brother, realizing his existence is illegal under the Artificial Intelligence Ethics Amendment, hid on the roof like an oversized cat. But little did he know, the real sheriff is a cat as well. The next five minutes, I would prefer to skip over, but I, uh, uh struggled? for a bit to defeat this guy. You might call him a difficulty spike, because being sent to heaven by a needle is a skill issue, and I'm not making it out of rehab. 
After the dust of battle settled, I had to deal with a loss of my dear companion, which I did by going into creative mode and spawning a new one. Hey, I'm here to make content, not to be consistent. The Lord taketh away, but he also giveth. I went back home and crafted a full set of iron armor, skipping three tiers of progression in a video game which only recently increased their number to five. With the help of Ryoshu 2, I set out to find a ravine or a cavern to easily access diamonds so we could take on the powerful foes of the Legends of Company. Encountering, clearing, and pilfering a dungeon, the only usable loot between two whole chests turned out to be an iron bucket, really putting into perspective the random loot tables of a guarded dungeon against the free handouts of a common structure. Thankfully, I don't quite care about the progression of Minecraft, because all I use it for are questionable mods like this. After falling down a cave hole, I was ambushed by my first Limbus-type enemy, some sort of backstreet thug looking to get sangria Noticing that Ryoshu was not interested in helping, I used my charms to sweep her off her feet and back into unpaid labor, defeating our assailant thanks to some cinematic ego activation. I collected his flesh for future use. Later down the mine, I happened upon some disgusting, rolling structure of mud, apparently a new block added to appease the unwashed masses of London, so that they may feel at home and maybe try to fish for some dinner in the cubic equivalent of the squalid River Thames. In fact, one such British geezer rolled up on us, but I banished him back into the depths of Birmingham, into which I fell like a cartoon character, and watched on as my caretaker disposed of him. Our tribulations in the chasms of Albion were dastardly, ambushed by thugs and one of the simps following my wife around. We continued to win our battles, but then this little schmuck slash TP'd on top of Ryoshu, exploding her instantly. Getting over her seventh cannon death, two through six not depicted in the video, I pretended to randomly come across diamonds in the cavernous depths, clearly very ecstatic about the discovery, as you can hear for yourself. Oh my god, it's... Uh... Uh, it's a diamond, I got one. I found my second vein, then spectator moded over to the third, and because I had to protect my fragile attention span from the horror of digging for more than five seconds, I flew up on day 500 onto the surface and again pretended like I had done it legitimately. It was then that I spotted my first abandoned branch of Lobotomy Corporation, a place of work I would honestly rather work at than continue filming this video. On my way over to the facility, I caught on fire spontaneously, signaling that the entity contained inside must be the horny calendar. Then I, uh... I, uh... I fucking exploded? Sucks to be me. I walked over and totally didn't use creative mode because I'm heavily directionally challenged and needed to use aerial imaging to even find the place, uh, which was like 20 blocks away from my bed. But, you know, never eat seaweed, am I right? I, I collected my items, ready for a rematch, but for some godforsaken reason the calendar just wasn't there anymore. It had either despawned or been killed by the influx of water, so I shrugged and collected the well-deserved spoils as one should. Hello? Hello, I love you. Checking out the recipe for extraction tickets, which thankfully didn't include a payment of 10,000 USD straight into Kim Ji Hoon's bank account, I used my powers as the golden witch to create a cauldron in the earth and started summoning the ingredients. If you would like to disprove my abilities, I am free to engage in endless torture where I continually murder your family over and over again and uh, what was I talking about? Yes, the economy. 
I had fulfilled my demand for leather, so I did the same for spider eyes as well. This gave me enough materials for three extraction tickets. Summoning Ryoshu 17, Sinclair and Gregor, I discovered a super rare chest with a book and two diamonds, giving me enough materials to make an enchantment table. Not realizing I needed more diamonds to create the funny ego block I wanted, I went on some stupid tangent about uncrafting my sword, thinking I'd make that an edit. I'm just going to uncraft my sword. But I can't be bothered. I cheated them in, but I didn't account for the required human meat item. This one I couldn't cheat in, because the item ID was in Hangul, and I didn't know it, so I had to go on an extremely long and painful journey to find Limbus enemies that genuinely took forever, so we'll skip over it. Although I did tame a wild Yuri in the jungle, uh, for the first time in forever remembering that such a character even existed. Uh, Ryoshu died again, whatever uh, this was happened, and I had finally gathered enough human meat to build this uh, thingamajig. Using it, I created Sinclair's single worst ego, but uh, I may have accidentally attacked him after I did, and because your followers automatically target anyone you've hit, I had to take them behind the shed, giving Yuri and Gregor a much better ending, where they frolic with the rabbits in a field of sunflowers. I built this fucking hut, because YouTubers always build a cool base in these videos. Uh, then I TP'd every entity on the map to me, but we'll ignore this. On day 21, you stupid. On day uh, 1000, I accidentally fell into a lake, hearkening back to the trousers laced with acid, uh, because suddenly, when I emerged, the world had changed. Using the newly unlocked powers of autism and schizophrenia, I headed to some random tower which just happened to be nearby. Uh, I should say, I had no idea that this kind of thing even existed, so it might very well have been a hallucination. And I unleashed an army of Don Quixote to reap the earth, swallowing the unworthy in the sounds of weeping and the gnashing of teeth. I switched over to creative and created a dawn portal, herding a few of them successfully in. Now at the end, I bested the end crystals, albeit with unexpected casualties, and opened the seven seals on the horsemen of the dawn apocalypse. They didn't prove to be very effective. As the vile dragon took its last perch, I won the video game forever proving to my haters that I am, in fact, capable of producing the worst content that they could even imagine. I think I uh, learned a lot while writing this essay, and you, you have a voicemail. Hello. Hello. I love you. Hello. Goodbye. Hello, man. Hello. Hello.